Welcome to Virtualize Everything. Today we're going to be taking a look at setting up our first VM on XCPNG using Zen Orchestra. We are just logged into Zen Orchestra. We've already set up our storage drive and uploaded our first ISO in separate videos. And now we want to set up our first VM. Clicking on Home to get to the initial screen of our Zen Orchestra web interface, we're presented with a screen that looks just like this. And it says there's no VMs and we can create a new VM. And we can do that exactly here. But I'm nervous because this screen says there's no VMs that we may not be able to do that in the future. So if you already have one VM in your system, the same process may not work for you the second time. So let's go here and go to New. From new, we can go to VM, and up here on this screen, we can select our server. Now we get the same window as we clicked on Create New VM at the Home Dashboard. First, we'll start by selecting a template. I'm going to be using Ubuntu 23.04 here. I'm going to scroll down and find the Ubuntu template that's closest to what I'm going to be doing. It looks like it's going to be Ubuntu 22.04. It's going to automatically name us Ubuntu Jimmy Jellyfish. And I'm going to just go ahead, delete the Jimmy Jellyfish out of here and change the 22.04 to the 23.04. And for the description, we'll give it something like first VM. Now it's going to ask us what CPU and RAM we want to give it. And I'm pretty resource limited here and I'm already virtualized. So we'll just give it two CPU cores and two gigs of RAM. Now here for installation settings, we could use PXE if we already had that set up but we do not today. So we're going to use ISO slash DVD. And here at ISO slash DVD, we're gonna select the dropdown. And inside of the dropdown, we're given a couple of different options. The ISO storage drive that we have set up that's an SMB coming in from our NAS server, our guest tools that install by default with XCPNG, and the ISO drive that we set up locally. We're gonna choose the ISO drive that we set up locally and the Ubuntu 23.10 ISO. I know I labeled everything before as 23.04. It appears the ISO is actually 23.10. We're gonna continue on and use this nonetheless. Now moving on to web interfaces for our first VM, we're gonna leave everything default using the system bridge that was set up by default with XCPNG. And here at disks, we're going to use our local storage drive. We'll also change the name here so that it matches the name above the description and the size. 10 gigs will be fine for us. Well, we'll make it 20 gigs. 20 gigs will be fine for us today. Now for advanced, we don't need to configure any advanced settings for this. Our summary shows that we have two CPU cores two gigs of RAM, one hard drive, and one network connection. Now we can hit create, and XCPNG creates the VM, giving us a nice status output of everything happening. Now that everything's created, it appears that XCPNG has already started up this VM, so we can go up here, go to consoles, and watch the process or start installing Ubuntu. This video isn't actually about installing Ubuntu, so we won't be going through that entire process today. I will make a separate video if you want to watch Ubuntu be installed on XCPNG for the first time. But we're going to conclude this video here and allow you to move on with your research and your project. I hope you enjoyed our content. You consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to get more content from us about virtualization, XCPNG, Proxmox, Docker, LXC, LXD, and so forth. As always, have a good night.